In this episode, we're gonna take a look at how we can adjust our color balance using the threshold method. Alright, so we have an image in here as it came out of my camera, and it needs some help with the color balance. For that, let's create a new layer, a new threshold layer. Let's drag this threshold slider all the way to the black part of the histogram, and we're gonna sample one of these points. So let's Oh, by having our eyedropper tool or our color sample tool we're gonna just click and sample a point in there let's zoom in so we can work on it better and right there let's zoom out again okay now let's do the same with our highlights so right there let's zoom in let's click and select your point and if you need to move your point you can press shift and then drag it all right now let's turn off our threshold layer and you can see it kind of makes sense we have one point that is on, on one of the blackest areas of the image and one point of where it was supposed to be one of the brightest areas of the image we don't need our threshold layer anymore it served its purpose so now we can delete it now let's actually do the white balance correction Let's create a new adjustment layer. Let's go to the curves. Um, let me close down this info menu because it bothered me. Okay, so in here we have three options or we have three eyedropper icons. One is going to be for blacks, one's going to be for whites, and the other one's going to be for the midtones. Let's fix the, um, the darkest point first. So let's click. And all we have to do is click on the icon and then click on the sample that we have. Now let's do the same with the highlights. Click click and you might want to try several times there you go now let's do our middle point we just click and this we're going to select one of the neutral areas because in this image it's very obvious the areas that are supposed to be neutral we can just easily click on part of the dress and we're done 